I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And this is Fish, Fish or Price, Price Ranch. Ranch. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So, uh, we decided to work on a new project and that is to expand the, or move I should say, the chickens into their official home uh, because they've been in the rabbit area for since we've been here and they poop on everything. So, as you can hear, Brandon has already started on T-posts, and so I'll show you guys um, how big their pen is gonna be and where we're putting them. All right, so one thing that we've learned out in Arkansas, which you would be surprised, um, coming from Arizona, but staying hydrated. Um, in Arizona, I had the hardest time staying hydrated. Um, I just, it was a fight to get me to drink water, but out here, we drink so much water. <laughs> um, so one thing that we've noticed is, and we've had people tell us this, but basically you work till it's too hot and then you go swimming. Um, so maybe we'll go swimming later today, we don't know yet. But uh, we kind of put, I know you guys haven't even seen a video on it yet, but we've been working on the doe pasture. Um, but it hasn't been like urgent to get it done and as you can see the girls are just hanging out behind us they don't really go anywhere so we'll eventually get their pen finished and you guys will eventually see that video but for now we're gonna work on the chickens all right so here is kind of where they're going so there's our house and our fenced yard and um, this is our driveway and it goes down the hill um, so we're going to utilize this section because it has a lot of little trees in it um, and so it'll give the birds some good cover against uh, any airborne predators and things like that. Brandon has already started a chicken coop. He's going to do one up off the ground. Um, but the goats got to it and already tried to destroy it a little bit. So it's kind of a mess at the moment. It will get worked on. But basically, we're going to go from that T post that you see right there. That'll be a corner. And then we are going to go, here will be a gate right here, which is going to be right across from the gate to get into our place. But we're going to go down the driveway here. And basically we're using a roughly 350 feet of fencing. So I'm not sure how big this is, but that down tree that you guys see, we had to lose that when we brought our house in. We're going just past that, but before this tree. So somewhere in between there, we'll cut across. And anyway, the chickens will get all these trees. And then we're actually gonna move the male rabbits in here as well and they'll because they're already on the ground if you guys saw one of my last videos um so they'll be able to be in here as well and and be like little wild bunnies and uh, i've already trained them to come when i call them so it'll work out perfect for when we have them in here so anyway that's what we're doing today so we'll show you guys some fencing and then when we move everybody over so I'm coming down here, uh, I gotta pull this tight so Brandon knows how far each T-post is. Something was just crawling right there. Um, so we're basically going, we're pulling this tight so that way he has a nice straight line. Right about there, looks like. And then we're going to basically, if the grass would cooperate, there we go. Don't have to be exact as long as it's close, but basically we're going from right about here and well, now I guess we're up a little bit, but basically right between these trees all the way to the driveway so this is kind of the other end that you guys can see. 
I get a lot of trees up there, a little bit of open grass down here. So hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll get this started and then start stretching fence and get them moved. They currently don't have a chicken coop. They've just been roosting on top of cages and pooping all over everything. And I feel like they'll be fine. They have the start of their chicken coop in here. And also we have that big down tree that you guys saw that I might drag up there. And they could roost on that for now until we can get the coop done. Alrighty, so there are all those T-posts all the way down. I have to run and do a couple of orders. So Brandon's going to finish getting T-posts in. But that's where the gate's going to go. And then he just has to do down the driveway. I lined out all the T-posts. You can kind of see them laying all over the ground. And he's already right here. All right, you guys. So we just finished up all the T-posts. Um, we are officially at the hottest part of the day. So it is time to go swimming. So we will show you guys a little bit of footage of where we get to go. This place is only 2.7 miles from the house. Um, which is awesome. So I'll be right back when we get there. All right, you guys, I want to show you how cool this is. So we are officially leaving our property onto the main county road. Oh, there's a wild turkey right there. Look at that. Hey, turkey. Yeah, we think she has a nest somewhere in here. She's been hanging out a lot. Um, anywho, so. We're just going down this dirt road just a little bit. County maintained road. And then this is typically our crossroads right up here. So we typically go left to go into town. We go straight to go to our neighbor's house or we go right and this road dead ends at the river, which is where we are headed. And it is only 2.7 miles from our driveway. The forest is so pretty here. Here's a cool spot we have to cross a little creek crossing. I don't know the name of this creek. Do you love it? Oh, okay. We don't know the name of this creek, but this creek runs into the Buffalo River, and we actually have to walk down the creek to get to the river. So we'll show you guys that when we get there. But look how pretty that is. there. So we are at our parking area, the creek, you can kind of see it, right down there. So we're going to head down there with our stuff, down this little trail here, and we'll get to the river. All right, we're headed down to the creek. Um, so this is where I injured my hip. I dislocated my hip a couple of weeks ago. Well, down there. Uh, yeah, down there a little ways, actually. Um, so now we found this entrance where we can walk down safely. <laughs> we just have to walk in the water for a little bit, which is no big deal. Um, but anyway, so this is where we come in now instead of a little bit farther up. We don't really mind because it kind of starts to get us a little used to the water because the creek is colder than the river. Um, and one spot to get to, whew, that's chilly, um, to the river is actually um, almost waist deep. So anyway it does get us used to the river before we actually get there so we're ready to jump right in all right so just to give you an idea it's not super far right there is where we just came down and got into the creek and right there as you can see the opening that is the river all right we are almost there this trail is the one sorry let me get out of the sun so you can see is the one that we tried to walk down and basically my foot got caught on that uh, root. You can still see my slide and slide and, and I landed in the bottom. Uh, but yeah, that's where we fell, I fell. And so anyway, we're almost to the river. We're getting to the point where it is that deep. I don't know, about foot, foot and a half. 
and you see all the little fishies jumping. We uh, have goggles. We've actually, the cool thing about this river is it is crystal clear. And we've used our goggles and gone down in. It gets about 20 feet or so deep. And uh, you can see the huge fish. We saw a big rainbow trout that had to have been 18 inches or no, probably bigger than that, almost two feet long. You can kind of see there's a little fish right there. But now we are already knee deep now. And we're going to get a little bit deeper before we actually get into the river. Now we're thigh deep. <laughs> But look how clear that is. It is absolutely awesome. There's some little sunfish. Just starting to get a little bit shallower. But anyway, this is where we go swimming now. Huge Buffalo River. Oh, it just got warm. We're officially in the river. Look at that. And there's some little rapids right here, so we just stay away from that area. Eventually we'll go tubing down this thing and dump into the White River, but this is where we hang out. So we're going to enjoy our day and uh, we'll get back to, there's Brandon, gotcha. <laughs> uh, we'll get back to you guys on the fence here in just a few. All right, you guys, we are back on working on the fence. We uh, didn't get back to it yesterday after swimming, and today our motivators were broken. So all we did today was go swimming. So we are finally back. It's nice and cloudy, overcast. We've got Crystal here working with us, helping us out, stretching some fence. And of course, we have the goats that are going to find all the holes for us. <laughs> They're hanging out with us while we're working. Yeah, that side's done all the way to the bottom and over almost to the corner. Now we are going to unroll fence and go basically from the gate over to there and down the hill to connect to the other fence. All right, you guys, we are officially getting our last roll of fence. So we are fenced all the way at the top by the truck. You can kind of see the truck up there. And then you can see the fence over there all the way down. And then it comes across. And we're probably fenced to right about behind that tree. So basically we just have to finish to the corner and then come up these couple of T-posts to this fence here. And then we're ready to move chickens in. All right, chickens go in. Come on, chickens. Go, go, go. Go on. Go on. There they go. Hey, boys. Look at that. What do you think? All this space? Huh. What do you think, huh? Okay. 
All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.